Throughout Australia, demonstrators protest against another war, Vietnam, in the country's second moratorium. Here in Sydney, the anti-war march starts peacefully enough as the demonstrators keep to the footpath, shadowed by a strong force of policemen. Throughout the city area, traffic lights are turned off as police try to keep demonstrators from blocking intersections. After the Wynyard Park rally, trouble starts. In one incident near the town hall, a demonstrator's van blocks traffic, but police make sure it's soon rolling again. Outside Parliament House, Melbourne, a crowd of many thousands flood the streets, jostling with police. However, unlike Sydney, where about 300 are arrested, Melbourne police take only four demonstrators into custody. Moratorium chairman Dr J.F. Cairns is among the anti-war leaders addressing the demonstrators. Police diverted northbound traffic to other channels as about 3,000 students marched from the Melbourne University towards Swanston Street, singing and chanting. All around the country, scenes like these are repeated as the opponents of Australia's participation in the Vietnam War join together in a gesture of unity to support their cause.